In this video we'll be demonstrating how to prepare your ZBrush files ready for 3D printing. To demonstrate we'll be using one of our ZBrush sculptures. Uh, this particular piece is composed of five different elements and that's the head, the two eyes and the two eyebrows. These will have to be combined together to create a solid object. The first thing you need to do is to bake any detail layers you may have firmly onto the model. You'll do this by going into the layers settings and selecting bake all. Next we need to merge all our subtools together using the merge option in the subtool drop down menu. After merging everything together, we need to now remesh the model as one piece. To do this, we'll be using the Dynamest tool set at a very high resolution. Now the model is completely unified and is one solid object. Our last step involves using the Decimation Master plugin within ZBrush. This amazing tool will help you to lower the resolution of your model but maintain as much of the high resolution detail as possible. This also makes it easier for the printer software to read the final STL file. You must first pre-process the object, then select a decimation percentage, then hit Decimate Current. Here we can see that the resulting mesh has a much lower poly count. Lastly, we need to export the new mesh as a STL file. This is a really simple and easy procedure using the Print Export plugin. Here you can change the scales and select a file type. Now you're ready to save and send to your 3D printer software. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.